going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am sore from head to toe. I can barely move my body. So if I'm moving a little funny today, I took a shooter's fitness course at uh, the Elite Indoor Range here. Everything hurts. Anyway, today we are going to continue to try to be more prepared for whatever 2021 is going to throw at us. Uh, we have this power bank and solar charger from Survival Frog. Now Survival Frog is the same company that uh, I did the review on the electric hand warmer and I absolutely positively love that electric hand warmer. Uh, this power bank and solar panel has some really, really unique features. Before we get into the features of this power bank, let me quickly thank my Patreon supporters because they are stupendous and my four channel sponsors that you see here because they are also stupendous. Just so you know, Survival Frog did send this power bank and this electric hand warmer to the channel free of charge for me to review and show you guys. And there is also an affiliate link down in the video description and pinned in the comment section. If you want to pick either one of these things up, uh, use those affiliate links, please. Do me a solid and uh, help keep this channel going. So let's quickly get into the features of this and then I'll tell you all of the different testing I did with this power bank. Uh, the battery in here is a 6,500 milliamp hour battery. Um, so it's a pretty good size. Um, charger. I was able to charge my iPhone just about two and a half times. I have an iPhone XR. First day when the battery died, charged it up all the way. Second day the battery died, charged it up all the way. Third day when the battery died, I charged it up about halfway. So that's as much charge as I got out of my phone. And then the power bank died and needed to be recharged. Um, to charge devices, you have pretty standard, like most power banks, you have two USB ports here, so you can uh, charge two devices at one time. And another cool feature on this side, you do have wireless charging capabilities if you have one of those fancy, fancy phones. Now you have a couple different ways to charge this power bank. Uh, like most, you have a micro USB here right in between the two standard USB ports. And then obviously you have the quad panel, uh, uh, quad solar panels, excuse me, that will also charge up the battery. Another couple unique features, it does have these built-in clips, these built-in carabiners. So if you wanna run rope through it and hang it somewhere or hook it on a backpack when you're going hiking, uh, that's another way of hanging this up in the sun. On top of it, the back here of the uh, power bank is magnetic, so you could hang it on a car. Or for example, I hung mine on a grill one day because I was letting the battery charge up in the sun and I just stuck the magnet right on my grill. Couple quick features here. This device is water resistant if you're outside in the rain or something. It has a pretty nice uh, leather outside that not only feels good, I also think it looks pretty sharp as well. Uh, you do have a small flashlight here on the back with the power button next to it. You hold that power button down for a second, the flashlight comes on. If you double tap that button, you have a strobe light. Hit the button again to turn it off. I would not use this for a defensive uh, tactical flashlight. Uh, I would recommend this, or oh, I drop my keys, where's my lighter, something along those lines is what I would recommend using this light for. On the front, it also does have a four light battery indicator so you know how much battery life is left, and a little green light that turns on. Uh, when you're recharging the battery, that green light turns on. I'll pull up the dimensions here so you can see how big this is and also the weight, which is just under 16 ounces. So this is a little bit bigger than most power banks out there, but you have a much bigger battery than most power banks that's gonna charge more devices um, than others. And obviously you get the advantage of the solar panel. So it's a little bit larger, but the features you get uh, makes sense why it's a little bit larger. As far as cost, at the time I'm making this video, right now, right this second, it is $65, but of course that will change as time goes on. So obviously the main test I wanted to do is to see how long it would take uh, to recharge the battery in the power bank using the solar power. Obviously this is kind of the main feature of this device. And I noticed, I, I did this three or four times and some days was sunnier than others, some days was cloudy, one day was actually snowing, um, and it took 10 to 14 hours, the cold snowy day, and all those days were really cold by the way, and I know cold and batteries don't play well together, but it's been very, very cold here in Rhode Island. The warmest day was probably around 40 degrees, and the coldest day was like, the high was like 12, I mean it was freezing. So that day took a long time because it was cloudy and snowy and it didn't fully charge. But on a sunny day with decent temperatures, uh, it took me about 10 hours to completely charge this battery um, from 
pretty much dead. So the next charging test I did was on an old iPad mini. I took it out of the drawer. It was completely dead. The battery was 100% dead dead. I plugged it in. I left it for about two hours, a little bit over two hours. When I came back, the power bank uh, lost about 50% of its battery, but the iPad was up to 58% charge. So in two hours, it took the iPad mini from zero uh, up, up to 58%. Second test I did was with a old iPod and a portable speaker. I charged both of them up all the way full, plugged them into the power bank at 7.30 in the morning. I cranked on some Kenny Chesney and I wanted to see how long I could play music on an iPod and a portable speaker plugged into the battery pack. And I let it go from seven in the morning all the way to a little bit past 4 p.m. And I was shocked to see both the iPad and the portable speaker were still fully charged and the power bank only lost one of the four indicators. So it was roughly 70, 75% still charged, even listening for music from seven in the morning all the way to four o'clock. Alrighty, let's talk about the pros. The biggest pro for me is the capacity, how you can recharge your devices multiple times on one charge of this power bank. Uh, I like the uh, wireless charging if you have one of those fancy phones. I like the magnetic where you could stick it to like a car or something metal. The carabiners are cool to hang it from clothing or a rope or backpack whatever. Uh, the biggest advantage besides the capacity is obviously having the ability to charge it using the sun. Uh, if you lose power or God forbid there's some serious social unrest and, and you can't um, tap into electricity and you want to ch uh, charge your key devices like your cell phone, stick this outside. Having that ability to use the sun to charge my key communication devices is very, very important to me. As far as cons, I don't really have a con of this device. I think it's a, a well-made device. Again, just know the size of it and the dimensions of it. Being it has a big battery life and the solar charger, it's going to be bigger than other power banks. That's just kind of common sense. So you can get smaller ones that's only going to charge your device 20, 30, 40 percent. Uh, where this one, I went with this one because it has the ability to charge it multiple times and helps me to be more prepared. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about real quick, about being more prepared. Uh, being prepared looks very different for different people in different parts of the country and there's a million different variables. But um, one thing I'm trying to do is be a lot more prepared for many different situations here in 2021, whether that be social unrest, uh, long-term social unrest, um, natural disasters, whatever. I just wanna make sure my family is taken care of and as safe as possible. So there's certain things that carry over to everyone, you know, food, water, medical, not only being able to treat basic medical emergencies and stopping the bleed, but having enough of the medicine you need. If you have any key medicine that you need to survive, having enough of that on hand. Um, there's a million different categories to be prepared. And I'm, I'm slowly working on it and trying to be a more prepared person. But what I wanna talk about is body armor. If you're into self-defense and into firearms, I really, really think you should take a look at getting body armor. Um, I think every civilian should have body armor. Now, when I see states like Connecticut and New York trying to ban body armor, that's proof to me that's more of a reason that we all need to own body armor. Um, I just think if the day ever comes where I, I need it, and uh, whether it be someone breaking in the house or a more wide scale type of issue, um, this could easily save somebody's life. You know, I have enough body armor in my house to put one on every single member of uh, my household. But at bare minimum, if you are the main person for self-defense in your house, I would look into getting a set of body armor. They've come way down in price. This particular one is from Prime Armor. Prime Armor is one of the channel sponsors. There is a discount code if you want to use it. But there's a lot of great companies out there offering plate carriers and armor. I just th think pl uh, Prime Armor is one of the best values and they're very good people. And that's why I chose them as one of the channel sponsors. Anyway. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, hook me up with a like or drop a comment down below. Use the affiliate link to purchase one of these gear, some of this gear. Uh, subscribe to the channel again if you think I deserve it. All those things really, really help me out and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.